In today's video, we're going to be checking out a closing call that I did all the way back in 2021 when I was first about to cross $100,000 a month in my agency. And I just thought that it was pretty cool that how I was selling back then is the exact same way I'm selling now. So whether you're at 10K a month, 100K or even a million a month, this is the exact same way that you should be closing clients. If you're doing it online over Zoom, if you're in an agency or dropping some sort of service at the end of your call, this is how you do it. So no matter where you're at, take some notes and hey, this is from a while ago. So if you think I could have improved, drop them in the comments, let me know and enjoy the call and take some notes. Typically the calls are pretty short and sweet anyways. Uh, it would just be to make sure I could help you guys out in the first place because mm -hmm. I don't want to sell anybody anything that's not going to help them. Um, but we'll go over everything about the practice, what we do, uh, the question probably on your mind, like how we get paid and everything like that. Um, but just before we even go into that, would you mind if I ask you a couple questions about the practice? Sounds good. Okay, perfect. So what city are you guys located in right now? Westboro, Massachusetts. Okay, so you're in Westboro. Uh, how long has the practice been open? 25 years. Nice, man. Okay, are you a practice owner and head doc? Yes. Cool. Okay, is there any other docs in-house? Two others. Nice. Okay, two associates, 1099s. Uh, associates. Okay. Very cool. And then uh, are you guys cash insurance or both? hundred percent cash. Okay. Very cool. Sweet. Easy. Um, and then let's see, what is a typical day one cost right now? 89. Okay. 89. Is that including everything is consultation exam x-rays. Okay. Perfect. So not including adjustment. So it actually, so it includes a follow-up visit, which they can get an adjustment. Okay. Got you. So that, so it's a, is it a day one, day two, like the whole uh, exam? Yes. Cool. Okay. So and and then, and let me just clarify because I said yeah. 89, because that's, that's the normal fee. Okay. Um, we have uh, internal referral fee is $49 and then we have a vet fee, which is $69. So it ranges from 49 to 89. Okay. So it ranges from 49 to 89. Okay. Got it. Totally understand. And then the other two docs, are they um, like, so let's say you worked with us. Are we trying to book them up? Or are we just booking up the practice in general? Just the practice in general. Okay, very cool. And then um, how'd you hear about us, man? Did you recognize anybody on the website or? So um, actually I'd have to find the name. So what we okay. do is we, po we posted looking for, for social media, Facebook okay. ad uh, group yeah. to a couple of different websites or a couple of different uh -huh. Facebook groups. Yeah. And uh, one of them replied with yours. Okay, cool. Is I know. I don't remember their name though, because Dr. Ryan's the one that, that uh, posted it for me. Okay, cool. I, do, I, then, I, can, I can give you a hint. He said he went for it, basically in two years of practice, he went up to 1300 office visits a week. Oh, that's, that's Paul Robinson. Uh, so he's one of my star clients. I actually hired his wife. She's the office manager. They're incredible. Like, yeah, they, they skyrocketed. So Cairo Queens, like we did great on our end, but like also his office manager was so incredible. I hired her here to consult everyone that we work with, because we're driving in new patients, we're getting all this great stuff going. Um, but things can really live and die on the CAs and front desks. So she's just a consultant for that and make sure everything's smooth. So cool. that's prob probably him. Yeah, he's been with us for a long time, like two years. Okay. But was that um, the Focus Foundation group? So I don't even know what group okay. he posted in. So again, okay. Dr. Ryan did the post and then he yeah. gave me three or four different um, ones. And then so you're the you're the main one that I'm talking to. Nice, man. Very cool. Okay. Um, sweet. So understand everything. Have you guys ever run uh, digital marketing in general? For probably six to eight years. Okay. Uh, is that, all, it's, so websites, probably uh, everything. Is there any paid advertisements on Google or Facebook? Both. Okay. How did it work out? So, well, so we, so we had uh, one agency did it for probably around two to three years. Of course, they mm -hmm. kind of died out, hired another one. Uh, did pretty well for um, a couple of years at least, and uh, they dead out. Our we have our website is Doctor Multimedia, so they took over. They never did really well for us, but now mm -hmm. it's really to the point where it's okay. This is ridiculous. You know, I think we got three leads in the last ten days. Yeah, that, yeah, that's horrible. And then um, what was the budget with that? Is it like two to three thousand a month or something? Yeah, like three thousand. Okay, is that um? So they did Facebook, they did Google, right? And, Yes. That's what they did. Okay. And they only had like three leads in a week with everything. So, so yeah, this, just this past week, they were doing, okay. they were doing better before uh, mm -hmm. Brittany, by the way. So we have somebody else here. You can jump in and say hi. Hey, Brittany. Hi. hi. So hey. Brittany's, uh, Brittany's uh, basically, she's the spearhead of everything. And okay. she uh, tracks all the information for me. 
you know, as, as kind of the office manager slash COO person. Mm -hmm. And so she tracks everything. And so she just came to me and we went over it once a month, we get together, we go over all the, all the information. And really just looked at it and said, okay, just for some reason, it's been declining for a little bit, but last week was just the bottom of the barrel. And it hasn't improved since we had that meeting on Tuesday. Okay. Understood. Um, are you guys running anything right now? So we are not Facebook okay. just, so what oh, we no. did was, so going back, so we, so we had Facebook and Google going at the same time, $1,500 on each of those. Um, and that included, by the way, their fees. So, so that wasn't all in ad spend. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we had uh, two, $3,000 total on our budget, whatever in ad spend. Um, so now they uh, were doing Facebook and Google. Uh, we decided that uh, we weren't getting quality leads or anybody really good from Google. So we switched on I mean, Facebook. So we switched it all to Google okay. about a month ago. Yeah. About, about a month ago. And, uh, and now, now it's declining even faster. So. Okay. I'm taking notes on this, by the way. I'm not. So. Okay. Okay. Understood. Um, and then when you guys ran, well, Facebook and Google, what was the offer? Was it a new patient special? Yep. So going way back, we had the, you know, the very inexpensive offers of $21 yeah. and $29. We went up to 49. Was it, do you remember how much the, the ad special was with uh, Justin? No, Justin was Justin 29. Justin was 29. It was 21 Justin, and then went to 29. Yeah. And then, and then we increased it after that, right? Um, and then, then it went to. Do you remember if it was 69? No, I think it was at 49. 49. Yeah. And okay. now we, and then when we, a little bit ago, switched it to the 89. Okay. So it's 89 right now. Where is that at on Google? Yes. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it makes sense. Um, I would recommend on Facebook. So Google's a little bit different. We could be a little bit more expensive because those people, the intent is so much higher because the, the reason the ad will come up because they're Googling chiropractor near me, migraines, headaches, uh, so you can be a little bit more expensive. Yes. On the other side of things on Facebook, the intent's a little bit lower, but we could get so many people in if we did less than 50 bucks. So Facebook, I like to keep it less than. So like 37, 47 bucks, whatever okay. it is, whatever drives in a ton of people. If that's cool with you guys, yeah, you can, you can see some awesome results. Uh, I don't know why. Well, it worked out for you guys a little bit, right? So we've been talking about that too, mm -hmm. too, though. And we actually talked about that before we made the price point changes mm -hmm. is that how do we balance having a higher quality of patient, but yeah. still get the volume. And, and so we're fine with, with uh, bringing that dollar amount down. I don't have any problems doing that as long mm -hmm. as it's driving more, you know, a significant amount of volume. Right. So. Mm -hmm. And there, there are ways that we can decrease the price so that it's a no brainer but then back it up with so much value and then make them jump through a couple of hoops that actually does get you like a very high quality of patient. And the other way is, have you guys ever taken prepayment before the leads showed up? We have not, but, but that's mm -hmm. something we've also talked about a lot lately. So it used to be, so we've, uh, Cairo Queens has been a thing for three years. And when we first started, the softwares didn't exist yet. So I was just like training the CAs you know, scripting, like everything over the phone, just to take prepayment. Now we can just literally do it. Um, so we take credit card reservations and we'll pull about one out of four people. So it's not like you get a hundred prepayments, you know? Um, but if we can pull one out of four people, that's great because you can immediately liquidate your ad budget. So I'll show you this in a second. And what I mean by that is, let's say, um, you know, you guys are crushing it. And it's, it's Brittany, right? I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. I have to really space for a second. So let's say Brittany's crushing it and she gets like 20 people to prepay 50 bucks. Well, you're spending a thousand bucks on your budget, but you immediately collected that back. So now you can spend even more and beat everybody in your area. So this is why people stick with us a long time because we're not just, uh, I'm not just trying to show up and like do a little bit of marketing for you guys. We're trying to win in the area. And, uh, you, you know, it's competitive. Like we obviously want to help everybody out with chiropractic, but, you know, we want to grow the practice too. So, that is something huge uh, that if we're able to collect prepayments, you guys will crush it. Uh, other than that, when you guys ran ads before on Facebook, do you remember Brittany or, you know, whoever was running it? Do you remember if you had a landing page versus a lead form ad? And I can go into that a little bit further. If you... I believe we did have a landing page that then okay. they would fill out. So, and what, so, and, and I believe that, uh, the landing page is on our website for what we're currently doing. 
right? So it doesn't have direct them to the website. And then they, at least for Google, isn't that how we're getting For those? Google, yes. But Facebook, Facebook brings it, would bring it to its own landing page that would come into us separate from okay. Google. Okay. Right. And I'm looking this up right now. Let me pull up the website. Cool. Got it. Sweet. Yeah, the web the website's nice. It's really good. This is uh this is how we design websites. Who did this for you? Doctor Multimedia. Doctor Multimedia. Yes. Okay, it's it's good. It's I like it. Um, I think it's going to work really well. Have you guys tracked any data on like pulling people into the office from the website? So we so we know where all of our patients come from, except for mm -hmm. when they come through our. So so if you go to a schedule what you know the schedule page you'll see they fill out the information and submit it so if somebody finds us on google and then goes to our web page versus go, mm -hmm. gets a google ad and goes to our web page we can't delineate the two of those but facebook was separate um, yeah. and and so we could we could tell everybody and we ask so everybody mm -hmm. that gets scheduled we ask them um you know how did you hear about our office mm -hmm. And so, and so we, we track it pretty closely, whether it's an internal referral, uh -huh. uh, external event, Facebook, or, and we just lump everything else in together, a group on, mm -hmm. we do group on and then Google. Okay. So you guys don't need to spend thousands of dollars with us on a website. There's just one thing I would do. Maybe if uh, you guys want to screenshot or I can even screenshot this, we build websites similar to this, um, okay. but it's missing a massive new patient button uh like there is i understand it's down here um but if if this is the landing page i don't know where the new patient button there is, is a pop-up so, that comes so up you, the first okay. time. yeah there is a pop-up that comes that typically comes up but what's interesting that you say that is that somebody else just told me the same exact thing huh. is that is that this big video that is not playing yeah. right now which but yeah. typically is uh that big video they said that that right there is not necessary right there you need more uh to uh schedule schedule now type yeah of a... yeah i can, can even, you um... can, can you send me some uh just a screenshots of a couple of websites yeah check this out this is um this is one of our websites so it just yeah looks looks great um but the whole goal is people like they, they misconstrue like yes like i understand it's your business you want your brand you want all that great stuff but if it doesn't convert who cares so the most important part is the scheduling portion and then like a second page is almost what i do like they get to see dr paul if i schedule an appointment uh dr paul robinson will come up and uh you know the video happens after so everything here my focus is on scheduling and then after that we can do all the cool like testimonials and stuff like that or just put it down here um cool. yeah so I can send you guys this. Um, sure. We can, we can even talk about, you know, building a nicer one in the future. It's, it's, you know, it's not probably not the most pressing thing. So that's totally fine. Um, but other than that, so yeah, guys, we do do websites, Google, uh, we do it all. Are you guys going to stick with the current Google person? Is that producing? No, it, no. So, so basically our, our entire budget is in Google right now. And okay. so that's what we're dropping. So we, okay. have, we basically have about $3,000 that'll be available. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. And then um, let me think if there's anything else. Do you guys do care plans? All of them. Okay. Um, Brittany, did you manage this last time? Manage what? Uh, just like leads in general. Yeah, we all kind of have a hand, but I kind of track okay. it the most. Did you guys use this tool? Oops. Uh, it's called Go High Level? No. No. Not this guy? No. Do you know what, uh, what lead tracker you did use? Um, we honestly didn't really use anything like that. We kind of just had leads come in on a Google spreadsheet. And then okay. I kind of keep my own Excel sheet that kind mm -hmm. of keeps track of like the numbers in that sense. But by no means is it like a software program that kind of lays it out for us. Um, okay. So we can like, do you guys like the Google sheet? Some of our people do. If that's what you want, that's cool. Um, I think it's just whatever is going to be easiest for us to get a lead, get notified of it, yeah. go right in. Any yeah. one of us can call. And that's pretty much, I think, I mean, I don't know what you think, Dr. M, but that's pretty much all I think is necessary. Okay. Yeah. And I'd like to actually have some better graphics like that. So, yeah. So it sounds like what you guys did in the past, it worked. It like it, it worked. It's uh 
it's just, it, I think it be, could be improved so much. So I think you guys are a perfect fit if you're willing to do the offers that we'll go ahead and, uh, so like everything that you already do in Dr. Daniel, which is pretty much just x-rays if necessary, medical consult or medical history consultation. Uh, and then do we want to include or exclude an adjustment? So what I would do is I would do, I would like to do the same exact offer that we currently have, which is the first yeah. two visits in its entirety. So consultation, exam, x-rays, mm -hmm. report of findings, which includes mm -hmm. the adjustment. Okay, perfect. Yeah, then you guys would kill it. Um, yeah, honestly, you guys would be a perfect fit. I'll let you make uh, that decision on your own. Budget, if you guys, yeah, it's normally two to 3K to get started. Uh, that's like a perfect budget. Um, can I just ask, so I'm going to jump on and I'm going to share my screen. Brittany, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you'll be taking care of. And then obviously like the, the head of everything, Dr. Daniel, I'll show you like all the good stuff there. Okay. Could, could we do one favor at the end of this meeting, guys? Um, could we do a hell yeah, Hunter, let's do it. Let's jump in. Or no, this isn't a good fit. And if it's not a good fit, that's totally fine, guys. Like, let yeah. me know if you think something sucks. Just let me know. I've just found if we say, oh, I'll think about it or I'll get back to you. I think it's just a polite way of saying no. Yeah. I'm just trying to avoid all that. So is that okay with you guys? I, I, I completely agree with that. Okay. Yeah. We're going right, to cool. give you the hell no or, or, or yes. Okay. And yeah, feel free. Uh, either way, whatever's best for you guys. So um, this is just a little graphic and then I'm going to jump in. So um, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of results of people that we've had. So I'm going to explain this pipeline in a second for you guys both. Um, but we can see this is... So I think a lot of people will ask like, well, what about my area? You know, like, is it going to convert in my area? Do, do you have multiple examples? So these are all in five months. Uh, Dr. Reed added a quarter million to the practice. Uh, Dr. Paul and Sarah Robinson. This is actually the guy who referred you, Dr. Daniel. Um, okay. They did a uh, 145 for collections and top line revenue. Dr. Ad, these guys did absolutely phenomenal. It was 188 for the practice in five months. Uh, two more, Jacob and Laura Sims, they're in uh, Colorado. So these are all just pulled in different pockets of the country just to show you it does it really doesn't matter the area. It's just if we're effective yeah. enough. Uh, it's 138 for the practice, very last one. Um, these are, okay, so this is a cool one. Uh, so this is Dr. Ian, he's in California uh, in Millie Valley, like Bay Area. He had 87 people commit to care. So it was 130 for the practice, um, but he actually had 85 pay up front. Uh, so he did care plans that you're able to pay up front. I think they're like normally like two to 3000 or like a 20 to 30 visits somewhere in that. So in visit to visit, he added 130 and then just paid up front. It was 120. So it's all possible. We just got to break it down. So <laughs> this, so just like a little funny stuff, um, but I'll show you guys the ads, uh, why ours are a little bit different and why they convert really well. Um, basically at this point over the last three years, we've spent, you know, massive ad budgets with all these doctors coming on to Cairo Queen. So we have millions of dollars tested in ad budget for efficacy. So just so you guys know, um, you know, like everything is uh, in the best hands and uh, it, it shows that and it really shows that in your results. So I'm not going to do any of this. I'll, I'll just kind of uh, walk you guys through it literally, but just so you know, everything's trackable. Uh, so you can just make it a hell yeah every single month to just jump back in so we can track the return on investment. Okay. I'm going to show you guys this in detail, collecting the credit card reservations. So this will be awesome for you, Brittany. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's a there's some really cool stuff behind this. Um, but it's liquidating the ad budget, like I said before. So if we can make a thousand bucks on the prepayments. Sweet. We, we can spend even more if you want and get even more people. Gotcha. Um, and then, yeah, we do all that stuff for you. So scheduling, rescheduling, confirming appointments, following up, all that great stuff. Uh, what EHR do you guys currently use? Platinum. Cool. Um, so we integrate with a couple. Platinum isn't one of them. Um, but as far as double bookings, we can simplify the heck out of this. So we won't have to worry about that. And I'll jump into that. Uh, and then lastly, like even if we just did the Facebook side of things, I don't know why this isn't loading. This is um, like 25 star Google reviews. We do Google review campaigns. We optimize your Google My Business. So the websites, I give it like a, a seven out of 10. It's, it's okay. It's very, you know, it's good. Um, there's a couple of things that I would change, but we can drive more people to it without spending any money. Uh, okay. ad budget wise. So we're going to optimize a couple things and send more people to it. And then we have two different packages. So I'll jump in and show you guys a couple examples. Is there any questions so far, or do you guys just want me to jump right in? Keep going. Cool. So here's a couple ads that you guys saw before. Um, who are we highlighting, Dr. Daniel? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be the other two docs? Uh, honestly, we can, we can do any of them. We, cool. um, th those docs see more new patients than I do, but I pretty much meet everybody in a short period of time. Okay, sweet. Um, do you do any investing, Dr. Daniel? 
Uh, it's what type of investment we like? Uh, just, just like uh, you know, I don't know. IRAs. Like, like, yeah, like, do you do any of that? Crypto. <laughs> All so, of it. Yes. Yes. We do okay. all of it here. Cool. So me too. So I'm going to make an analogy here. Facebook is very similar to Bitcoin and it's sexy and we can do these insane results uh, overnight. How we're going to take an approach to it is more like investing in an index fund. Um, so rather than do this, this craziness and have it be very volatile, what we'd like is to separate uh, the likelihood of everything crashing. So all I mean by that, we're going to collect videos of you, Dr. Daniel, then the next doctor, then the next doctor and run them at separate times. Perfect. So that if something's not converting, we just jump to the next one and we jump back and forth. So you have this unfair advantage of having multiple associates in practice. So nobody's going to get sick of the ads. Like doc, this example, this man is spoiled. Dr. Paul uh, Ophili in Florida, he's run the same ad for like two years. Um, we switched some stuff, but you're going to have an advantage over other people. So that's how we're going to kind of roll it out. So some videos of adjustments, they're going to be the most eye catching. They're going to probably get us the lowest cost per lead. So we can shove a, t a bunch of people into your funnel and just some other fun stuff. Like we do a bunch of different creatives and we're just constantly testing to constantly try and lower the cost to get somebody yeah. into your funnel. Because if we're getting way more people in, we can actually be more picky and then increase the quality. So all good stuff. Um, so once they click sign up, they actually leave Facebook. And this part is so crucial. So there's two different ways to do it. I think you guys said you had this way, but lead form versus landing page. You guys think you had a landing page before? I think it was a landing page, but it didn't have much information. I think it literally only had to fill out the form. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, so it I wasn't literally... really much. That's the last person why I was running a little bit late, Dr. Daniel. They had the same thing. It was just a really kind of like run-of-the-mill crappy landing page, and it just had the form on it. So what we want to do is start building you guys up in the practice because we've already won. We made them leave Facebook, and we did it for a low cost. So now we can be a little bit more picky. So here's an example of ours, and excuse the side. This is a desktop. Um, I'm sorry. This is mobile uh, optimized. 90% plus of our people come in from their phones. So Okay. That's why it's optimized to phone. So we're going to show you, we're going to show the other docs. We're going to get some video testimonials of patients, some Google reviews. We're going to start blowing those up and highlighting them here. Facebook recommendations, special message from you. And we can start changing these out from doctor to doctor, like I said before. So nothing, you know, I don't want to get to the point where you look back and we got three leads in a week. That sucks. Um, cool. A couple other things where you guys are located. So all this stuff is just taking a little bit more time out of their day. So they can consume everything of the practice, the content, get excited for their visit. And then once they click sign up, we've already won. Like we've, we've taken enough time out of their day. So we get their information and that's great. But a little bit of ammo for you. Um, Brittany is here. Uh, there you go. So they're going to click uh, areas of discomfort, whether it's neck, back, shoulders, upper back, hips, knees, whatever. Uh, and what day is ideal for them to come in. So okay. these are great, Brittany, because you can use these over the phone. Uh, we even use these in our automated texting. Like we'll text somebody the voucher and the booking link if they don't just do it right now. Maybe they'll do it in a couple minutes. If they don't do it in a day or two, we text them another message. Hey, just wanted to check in and see if I could help you with your neck discomfort. So all these things are being relayed back to them. Um, and it's just to say that if people don't schedule right on the funnel and if they fall through, uh, you know, nothing really falls through the crack. So all great stuff here. And even if we just changed it to this, you guys would already see like vastly better results. The ads are better. More people are coming in. That's all wonderful. But again, we, we're going to take it um, one step further just to make it easier for you guys and the team. So here's the credit card collection window. Um, super simple to track this. So we can do different strategies with this. Brittany, you can tell people whatever you guys want to do. Um, you can collect the prepayment before they come in and just run the card. You can say, uh, I don't need to run it. You can pay when you get here because some people give you pushback, but yeah, you don't, you know, you can pay when you get here. I just need a credit card on file. It's just like, res you know, reserving a hotel. Uh, or you can say there's a no-show fee. So I just need the credit card. You can pay when you get here, but there's a $40 no-show fee. So you ready to sign up? Uh, so it's going to help with the show up rate immensely. It's going to liquidate your ad budget, all that great stuff. Mm -hmm. Any Good. questions on that, guys, so far? None. Okay, sweet. So, yep, we have all this. Uh, it's super easy to track. And then here's uh, the biggest thing, Brittany. I'm just going to be so transparent. It might be a pain for like one day to get off the Google sheet and get onto our CRM, but yeah. we will help you the entire time. We're going to get you on Telegram, everybody in the practice on Telegram. So we just have a streamline of communication. Um, 
but yeah, again, like we can do the Google sheet if you want, Brittany, this is just going to help you so immensely because as people are opting in, uh, Tina just opted in and says, congrats for signing up. Please relax and enjoy your weekend. Oh, I guess this was a, a little while ago. Uh, we'll get back to you Monday to finalize. And then she booked an appointment and cool. She's good to go. So all this happened. You didn't have to do anything in this scenario, Brittany. Uh, the texting platform did it for you, but you can track here. Like um, Greg just said, sweet. But if anybody has any questions or anything, uh, they'll come up here. So if, oh yeah, here we go. Is this Ian? Not gonna be able to make it. Steve Morrow. So if anybody has any questions, this is literally all you're doing, Brittany. It's just reaching out to them, seeing if they need a reschedule, whatever, getting a credit card payment, answering a question about the day one, day two. Very simple. Um, we're also in this with you, Brittany. So you're not alone. This isn't just for you guys. This is like our, uh, our communication back and forth to see how we're doing. Um, so other than that, we can do a bunch of cool stuff. Like again, the Google reviews, we can blow up. I can show you an example here. We just uh, ran a Google review for one of our people in Colorado and Denver and uh, it blew it up. So what we did here is super simple. We have an NPS score, so like a happiness level. And if people are super happy, we just send them a link and they just leave five star reviews. So it's an immediate way to just start booking up some more reviews and getting you guys ranked even higher on Google so you don't have to spend as much money. Um, and this is all the long-term thinking. So good stuff okay. there. All the contacts that we're generating, uh, we can do a bunch of cool stuff, reactivation campaigns, um, like if, if you, cause this is all HIPAA compliant. If you want to Dr. Dan, we can also, um, we can like, I mean, we could throw in your current patients in here around like Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, whatever specials just to get a ton of people in. So there's just a bunch of strategies besides just Facebook ads. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, uh, I'll, I'll stop myself. I don't, I, I just get excited. I'm just trying to overwhelm. Is there anything I didn't go over or any like questions that you guys have? No, I think we're good there. I think um, one of the things that I noticed uh, when I was looking at your content was um, uh, payment. And so, so obviously we told you what our budget currently is. So help, help me understand how you get paid and how the ad budget gets broken down. Cool. So the ad budget that I'd recommend is just a thousand bucks with Facebook. So that's, it's, it's like the gold standard number. Some people are very spoiled and they can spend less than others and see the same results. Um, the ad budget's more of like a fluent thing. So you're not paying me and Cairo Queens that obviously you guys know this, but um, it's more of a fluid thing. So if you guys want to change that, we can, and we'll be relaying your cost to get somebody in. So if for, I'm just saying this, for example, we have a guy in Florida who it's about a hundred bucks to get somebody in. It's a little bit more expensive, but he's like, I don't care. Like I, I have a great conversion rate, do 2000, do 3000. So it just depends on the month if he's in and he's all in. So we recommend starting with a thousand. Um, and there's two different things that we can do. If we just want to do Facebook, uh, we keep it on the lower end and you just pay us a retainer. Um, so we don't do pay per show. Do you guys, did you guys ever uh, do no. anything like that? No, okay. it was all retainer. Okay, so it's just a retainer. It's really simple, and there's two different options. I found the um, the pay per show model. Again, I'm just being transparent. It actually incentivized my team to get less quality people in, so we could get paid more. And I was like, no, guys, we're not going to do that. So it's just a retainer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. Cool. So, any questions, guys? Anything I didn't go over? Anything you you like, didn't like, want to address? So just your retainer. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, did, wait, did you, was that a question? How much is the retainer? Oh, oh, oh how, so I thought you said just the retainer. So um, here, I'll just pull it up right here. So the, the two different ones right here. So this is like the, the bare bones, simple, simple one. Um, so yeah, two different options. Like it, it sounds like you guys would probably be a better fit for the larger one. This is everything. And we guarantee a bunch of stuff. So there's 10 booking guarantees to the right. Um, the practice manager that I said before, Dr. Daniel, that's the wife. So Brittany, you weren't here for that. One of our best clients of all time. I just hired, she's an office manager. So she's going to be consulting you on the software. So you'll be super comfortable there, but just getting people scheduled and prepaid and all that good stuff. We'll be talking to you guys weekly. We do Google, YouTube, Facebook, all that great stuff. Okay. And then this is the one that has the, the prepayment, the credit card funnel. Yep. Um, so it just makes everything easier. So that retainer is 2k. 
the other ones okay. uh it's it's 1500 so we kind of make it like a no-brainer to all, pretty much always do the one on the right yeah um but it's up to you guys what do you think would you rather do uh one on the left or the one on the right so so going back to what you started with so this for me this is just a, it's it's hell yeah i mean we're gonna do okay this. okay Sweet. so so we're moving forward we're gonna do the one on the right the platinum okay Cool. So pretty cut and dry, easy call. If you guys follow these exact same sales frameworks, you too can have really objectionless closes and just move people to the finish line. If you're able to find their budgets and have no perceived increase in cost, but get them more results, it's a very easy close, just like we went through today. So I truly believe these are the most up-to-date, best sales tactics in the game right now. This is how I was able to sell over 750 clients for just under 5 million in my SMMA, get the business bought out, and now use that money to start the next one and build an amazing team. So whether you guys are just starting out and you have no clients, or you have a hundred clients, you should be following these exact sales tactics, which is why you should subscribe for more. As always, if you guys need any free help scaling your agency, just hit the link in the bio. We have a free course. Go check it out. See you guys.